Yeah, you know, it's funny. Um, but my friends and I call them happy habits. Uh, like what are the things that do keep you sane? And actually, basically everything you mentioned is on that list, right? So it's like meditation to start my work day and meditation to snap out of it. Connor and I have talked about that oh, yeah, extensively. Yeah. Yep. Um, so that, that's like my on and off button, which is super key. Um, stretching in the morning, lots of hydration. I'm a tennis player. I love getting on court, love getting a sweat. I run a ton. Uh, I journal a ton. I have a pretty regimented process of weekly, monthly, and quarterly reviews that I kind of use to like reflect on not only just like where am I going, but where have I been? And is that in line with what I said I wanted? So I kind of have internal systems that are tracking my own progress. And um, the, the nice thing as well is that like, you know, because we are growing, uh, a lot of those activities are just becoming higher leverage in general. And so really making sure that like I'm keeping myself sane and you know, maximizing my judgment because understanding that like if I make five bad calls over the course of a week, that's going to compound the rest of the organization. So I'm really in defense of my sanity so I can make level-headed calls that won't cause ripple effects elsewhere. And so anything that in, that's in pursuit of that is, is absolutely a priority and cannot get disrupted. You're also a very high energy person, like, 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 uh, like in a good way. Cause I feel like, um, I don't know if you're a festival C like festival company CEO and you were low energy, like that's like terrible. Uh, and also like just being the CEO of a team, like having all that energy, not only like do these habits, I think make you happier. They probably also like give you the energy to like go and say like, Oh, shut up. Like, damn, something just hit the fan. And like, as happens in every single business and like having the energy to be like, cool, let's step up to the plate and like, let's, let's solve this. Yeah. And I also think it's about what you're consuming as well. So you're right that energy creates energy. Uh, and that's, a, that's an important thing to understand. The second thing is, is like, you know, what are you consuming and, and how high integrity is the quality of that information? Uh, for me, I've been reading so much stoicism over the last three years. And I think like the stoic mindset has helped me to become a, a more balanced operator, where if shit does hit the fan, to use your phrase, um, you know, you're like, okay, cool. Like take a deep breath reset and here's what we're going to do about it and it's really understanding that key you know uh, epic uh, everything a pictetus was that was the one to coin this but it's like understand what you do and do not control and only only impact the former effectively and so recognizing that you can let those things you don't control go that as a mindset shift is a requirement of, uh, of effective leadership. And I'm not saying that I'm an effective leader by any means. I'm still figuring it out like anybody else. But I think the, uh, the big thing is that, you know, it's one, it's one mindset to freak out when something bad happens. And it's another to look at it and able to be relatively calculated and balanced such that you can make the best decision with, inf with the information available.